Hi, welcome back. I've just installed PSPWM on Arch Linux. We see it here at the bottom, Arch Linux rolling. If you press Ctrl Alt T and we ask a Neo Fetch, we'll see that we are on Arch. What we've done is we've taken all our work that we've done in Arco Linux D and we've installed the, our proper BSPWM like you could install your own i3 config or your own awesome config and so on. So we've put in some work how to make all these configurations and we can share them with Arco Linux D people but also with Arch Linux people. So it's uh, up to you to decide what you want to do with your system. And first up, I'm going to see the things I'm missing. I'm missing here an icon and that's called network icon and super shift uh, return. Better set up my screen key. Is this set up properly? References. Okay, it's okay. Meaning, why am I doing this? Now when I press my buttons, you'll see what I have when I do press. So super shift Q is actually an A here because I'm still on Azerti and Querti. That you know that's an issue for me always. But um, what I wanted to do was go to super shift return. What was I thinking? Right. We have skipped a file in ArchWiki, the 50 install interesting missing packages. We found out when we install it the arch way that we're missing stuff and we say, hey, where is this little icon or where is this or where is that? That's going to be used for, um, well, to, to add the stuff that we're missing. And we're missing the network manager applet. So there's a little tray icon and it's not there. So we need to tell the system, forget about Oh yeah, wait a moment, Control Z. Save, cancel, cancel, don't save. All right, don't think I changed anything, just quickly checking. Okay, that's fine. So quitting this application, I still need to change everything to Azerti, which is making my life a little bit difficult here. Open terminal here, choosing this so you see, hey, we still need to, set, to decide what will we take. We have chosen in BSPWM not to go with Termite as a reason for it. It doesn't show images. There's a tutorial about it on Arco Linux D, I think. Okay, yeah, sure, it's on D. So we have URXVT. So if we do NeoFetch, you see we have a, some information, but you see it's all way too big. So we have to change that as well. What I need to, what I need to do, super shift Q Eric, what I need to do is open the terminal here and then run number QWERTY. Let's quickly set this QWERTY thinky vortex map, what was it again? XKB map BE. That's the one, now it's a Z -T. fine. And I'm going to run number 50. 50. Install interesting packages that we're missing. Like so. And we should have here an icon when we reboot. I probably can suppose I can. I can, can, can. And M um, applet something. This one. So now we have this applet here. And that's the one I was missing. So if you have a wireless a laptop, then you see all the, um, well, how do you say that's all the choices you can have to log into. So that's what I was missing. Now the size and the QWERTY stuff, I definitely need to get rid of this Azerti and QWERTY thing. Control H, you go into the configuration, you go into BSPWM, go into auto start wait for it you can get rid of this here what do I need to do I need to tell him for instance I can sell tell him here take this as um, layout that's something I should do and then I save this so from now on I'll have my Belgian layout that's one thing I'd like to do 
The next thing I like to do, let's see where it is, is get rid of my conky. Don't need the conky. Here is the NM applet, so the little thing that's up here now, it can be started. And all is good here. So I'm going to save auto start. The next thing I have to look for is not BSP WMRC. I don't think so. Nothing to be changed here. This is our config 50 lines of BSP WMRC. If you compare it to i3, it's a very, very, very small config. Fine. Nothing in here for me. We need to go to SX. HUD, we open up this one and we're going to move this a little bit like so, scroll a little bit higher and now I say hey I'm a Zerti. So it says here if you want to have a Zerti, well this is for the QWERTY guys, so I'm not a QWERTY guy so I'm going to say nope don't want that, I don't want that, but I do want this and I do want this. So this is what I want for my Azerti, and it does it does uh, continue here. Don't want QWERTY, not really, but I do want Azerti and save. Now I should be in the clear. So super X, we get this nice little icons. Well, not little icons. We log out. We log back in. And Ctrl Alt, I start typing. I do Super Super Shift Q, and it indeed it kills something. I do Alt to trash this wallpaper, and so on. So the shortcuts work again. I do believe that my resolution is a little bit off uh, when I see and I look at this. I say, hey, that's a big resolution, but there is a reason for it, and the reason is my tutorials. Ctrl F. I'm going to take a look at my settings in my virtual box and the settings in my virtual box were bigger and why were they bigger because I was teaching you guys how to work into the Arch Linux base installation which is a black and uh, white terminal so I made it bigger I scaled it up so when we scale it to the normal 100% and do again Control F and we log out super X yeah we have to help it a little bit log out and log back in then it will realize okay I have 1920 pixels on 1080 pixels and it is now well the normal look you know nice look this is what we should should get and it's only me who will have this this strange look because of my scaling factor so there you go we have now our system set all right um, Azerti has changed we could change some themes and then we'll call it a day. So super shift T, Alex appearance, and we say, oh, wouldn't it be nice if we had a frolly dark that's gonna be noticed that it's gonna be pink. It's really gonna be noticed. And all these icons, why not another pink or anything really? Just a lot of icons that have been installed. All kinds of icons, lots of icons. These are called Sardi and the Sardi Extra, and are also surfing icons. So it's up to you to decide what you like. Maybe this one, Sati Papyrus. You apply it. Choose maybe a mouse cursor if you don't like this one. There are more mouse cursors to be installed. I assure you, lots of information on the AUR about cursors. But then you want to take a look at it. Uh, I think we can restart our file manager already. And then you have Tunar showing already the new look. And everything is pink as you can see here everything that we touch will be then changed to this color and that's how easy it is to, to set BSP WM and I suggest you follow other tutorials and videos to learn to work with it it's a beautiful system it does not take much from your resources you just check it out and, and see how much you actually are using it's very very little and um, well, it's, it's kind of neat. I mean, it is a Windows it, or a tiling window manager. 
and um, I kind of love it I'm in the sense that I love i3 awesome and BSP WM with the same love with the same amount let's say and they have their different personalities the different characteristics people ask hey I, can I do this from i3 on BSP WM the answer is often no because they are built in a di on, on a different concept and some things will not work some things might work will work are the same so it's the discovery again that's um, interesting for us for you to figure out hey i'm again a noob i'm again a newcomer in linux and let's figure out how to work with this bsp wm together with arco linux d all the tutorials are there enjoy